everyone welcome back to my channel house of knowledge and this is hasni in today's video we will be uh, doing the mathematics and in mathematics today we will be seeing simple integers so let's get started without any more further ado simple interest my has me so let us see what is the meaning of simple interest so simple interest means um it can be uh, you know explained by a, a story for example you have taken some money from a person or a loan from a bank and uh, uh, there is a certain amount of time after which you should return to them let's take example for one year so now it is not uh, not just uh, you know uh, returning um, the money for example we will take uh, you have taken a uh, 1500 so few people think that after we take it we should just return 1500 to them so that's not for uh, gaining profit uh, people uh, and the bank uh, has some sort of uh, extra amount which will be a uh, told you in um, you know a rate of interest so uh, there will be a certain amount of rate um, which you should uh, which the interest forms on so here we will consider 1500 as principal so that is the money which you have borrowed and one year is the time which you need to return after and now we need to have rate uh, we have rate to give the simple interest on that amount of a uh, rate so a uh, rate we will take it for 5% so it will be increasing 5% <clears throat> uh, and uh, this is our uh, pro properties which we need to uh, which we have to find out the simple interest so uh, this is uh, generally what a simple interest is so you will be given a money so uh, now we will see what is amount amount is simple interest less the principal so when you need to return the money you should uh, uh, along with the simple interest you should return it so we will take an example let's say for this we have the uh, you know simple interest as 50 rupees i am not sure i have not calculated so let's say it's 50 rupees is the simple interest and um, 1500 is our principal so you need to add it so this will give you the amount which is equal to 1550 rupees so this is the logic of simple interest now let us see how to find out the the simple interest so uh, these are the formulas uh, if you want you can uh, pause uh, this video and uh, note down the formulas so the formulas are prin principal into rate into time divided by 100 is equal to simple interest so this can be also told as p t r by 100 in the last uh, slide we uh, took um, the principal as 1500 time for one year and um, rate for 5% so uh, we will be applying the same uh, formula this one and finding out this so, uh, you know simple interest so uh, let's see if 50 is correct 1500 is the principal so 1500 into rate which is 5 
and um, then we need to take the tan, which is one divided by hundred. Now zero zeros can be cancelled. So fifteen five is so seventy five. Seventy five into one is seventy five. So seventy five is our simple interest. So fifty is wrong. Seventy five is our actual simple interest. So here the amount will uh, result as one thousand five hundred plus seventy five is equal to. One thousand five hundred seventy. Now let us see what is the formula for, uh, you know, principal. If they give you simple interest rate, time, and uh, tell you to find out principal means the amount which you borrowed. Um, let's see how to find out that. So it is um simple. The formula is hundred into simple interest, assuming simple interest, divided by R into ten. Now let's take the same example. So here I lose the eraser. Now we don't have the principal. So here what happens is one thousand five hundred is not there. So let's take simple interest here as fifty, and time as one, and the rate of interest is five percent. And now they have asked you for principal. So uh, let's see who can find out. You can uh, pause the video and uh, you know. Uh, tell the answer in the comment section below. So let us see how to find out this. Here we will apply the same formula: hundred into fifty divided by five into one. So we can cancel out five ones are five tens are hundred into ten is a thousand. So, hmm. it is the principal is thousand. Uh, now, in a few of your exams, options will be given. So, in case if you forget this uh, formula, let's see how to do it. I will be erasing here. Here, A, it will be given as 1000, B, it will be given as 500, C, it will be given as 10, D, it will be given as um, 700. So here, let's see how to find out, um, you know, the principal. Uh, in the question, uh, I think uh, time and all will be given. So now what you can do is we will try 1000 into time, which is 1. We are trying the first option. 1000 into 1 into 5. Now you know simple interest. So now if you divide it uh, by 100, it should result you as 50. So we should see if this statement is correct. You can do this option wise. If options are not given, then you should follow this formula. So let's see, 1000 into 1,000, 1, 1,000, 5,000 divided by 100. You can also cancel out the zeros, first only. So simple interest is equal to 50. Now we will get confirmed that Principal, principal is 1000. So now here you can consider, uh, you know, 1000 and option A as the correct answer. 
but uh, this takes a lot of time if a thousand would be given in d option then you would be taking a lot of time so it's better to you know um do with the formulas so rate of interest is equal to 100 into simple interest divided by principal into time and time is equal to 100 into simple interest principal into rate now we will uh, see few examples of uh, rate and time because i did not show you in this slide So first one will go for rate. <clears throat> Let's take a 75 as our uh, simple interest and time as one year. And principal is uh, 1,500. And uh, they're asking for it. Let's see if you can uh, do this question. So you now also can pause the video and uh, you know uh, send the answer in the comment section below. So it will be given as question mark. So this is pretty easy because in the first slide uh, there was an example like uh, this. So let's see how to do this. Now here we have the simple interest which is seventy five into 100 divided by 1500 into 1. So I'll cut the zeros. 75 into 1 is 75. So 15 into 1 is 15. So 75 divided by 15 is equal to 5. So the answer is 5%. So whenever um, you are, you know, finding on the rate of interest, it should be in percentage. So here it is 5%. Uh, in the options, there may be confusing like 5 rupees. If you go for 5 rupees, uh, your mark will be detected. So it's 5%. Now, let us uh, do one more example with the year. Means the time. So here, we will be doing time example so let's see how we can do it simple interest is 50 rupees rupees time is question and principal is thousand and the rate of interest is five percent so even this was given as an example but the right time was given so let's see if you can do this question Pause the video and comment your answer. So let's do this. 50 into 100 divided by 1000 into 5. So I'll cancel out the zeros. 1s are 10s are. So 10 into 1 is equal to 10 divided by 10 into 1 is equal to 10. So 10 divided by 10 is one so it is one year 